Hi everyone, if you continued on from the uh, outline material, I'm just going to cover a few points that people have brought up in the comments and they've been looking to do. One was add colors, different colors to uh, different selections or outlines, sorry. And the other one was uh, adding the outline to transparent objects. So I'm just going to cover them both quickly. If you continued on from the previous tutorial, you'll have something that looks like this. This is the, the full material here. And you, and you can follow that in the outline tutorial fully. I'll, uh, I'll include a link in the description. Now to add the colors, we just want to add in all the colors that we want to use. So I'm just going to save on time. I'm just going to copy in some colors here. So I'm making them float three and I'm just putting them to a named variable. If you don't know how to do a named variable, just drag off and type name. And it's this add reroute declaration node. So that's basically just saying that I can use this somewhere else. So if I can, what I call that name, so I can go name and you see these named reroutes and i've got the color 0 1 2 and 3 and there's name so i can put this somewhere else in my project without having lines going all over the place it's not really required for this it's not going to be that many lines but good practice keeps it neat so we've got our colors there and we're going to want to for our po post process here we want to bring that down to a float 3 as well so we're just going to mask that and get a component mask and set that to all three, not the alpha. Just move this up a bit. And this is going to go into where it's going there, into the top of the lab. Sorry about the error for now. Uh, we can get rid of this because this is not our color anymore. And the other node that we want to add is called a custom stencil. You go to your scene texture. And you can see it's coming up by default as a scene texture, but if you come over to the drop down, you should be able to find the custom stencil. Change it to that. What we want to do is mask this out again. So component mask. We just want the R, R channel, red channel. And then we're going to divide this by 255. So that's the, the number of channels that you can have, so the number of colors. And then we're going to put this into a bit mask. So just search for bit mask. And we need a constant here. So this will be the channel that you use to set the color. And this will go into the bit mask value, sorry, the bit value. And then the bit mask will be what comes out of here. Just straighten all that up. And then for however many channels you're going to have, so we're going to have, we're going to, we've got three colors here. Well, white is going to be our default, but the, um, we're essentially going to have three colors. So we're going to need two of these. And then we just need to alert the colors into these channels now. I'm going to get that as named reroute nodes, so color 0 and color 1. They're going to be the first bit channel. Just duplicate this, and the output of that one will be the input of the next one, and then we'll put our Just color two, is it? And that'll be the alpha. And then we just need to loop it with our result. So if you're going to have more colors, you just need to continue the loop to loop the color into the correct uh, channel that you're masking. All right, that's that. So now if we come into, I'm just going to enable on all three of these the the render custom depth, whether you're doing that with C++, this is just for an example. So I'm just going to enable it on these. And that gives me my white outline, which is the default. And then if I come to here and I search for stencil, oops, I'm selected on the landscape. Sorry. So you can see the custom stencil over here. So I'm going to put one on this top one. Two on the next one. on this one. So you can see that it's not working. 
occasionally get an outline, so it's sort of got some reddish in it. Let's just stuff it up. Also, what we need to do is come to our project settings, search for stencil, and it's got custom depth stencil pass enabled. It needs to be enabled with stencil. And there we go. So the first one is red, bottom left one was blue, and this one's defaulting. I think I had it to three, which is we didn't set, so it's just going back to white. So now to get the outlines working with a transparent or any object with transparency, there's a couple of things you'll change. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this material that's on this and convert it to to a transparent one. So I'm just applying a transparent material to my object. So I'm just going to hook up the alpha channel to the opacity here. This is just so I can make it partially transparent. You can see this has probably broken the outlines here. So if I come back into the material that I'm using, we need to change. So this opacity mask clip value here is, is set to 33%. That's the default limit of opacity that you can use. But if you change, there's a very called allow custom death rights. We enable that. Come back. You can then adjust this value to whatever you need. We can set that so I can have it fully transparent and it will uh, still work. So now if I come over to the instance that's actually on the objects, change the transparency. You can see I get the outlines working now and it will work all the way to zero. Like so. Hope that helps some people out. Please don't forget to like if you found this tutorial helpful and subscribe so you don't miss out on future tutorials. You can join me on Discord or sign up to my Patreon where you can get access to all my tutorials early and the project files, as well as gain access to behind the scenes on my current game development. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.